Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Going to talk to you about the medication escitalopram. Talk about the um, uses, dosage, side effects, as well as some other things with this. Uh, specifically, we're going to cover, of course, what is escitalopram, the uh, regular uses, the dosage, most common side effects, other side effects, some of the withdrawal symptoms that can occur with that, warnings, as well as drug interactions. As with all my videos, this is for informational purposes only. It's not intended to substitute, uh, serve as a substitute for a qual for a healthcare provider. So first off, what is escitalopram? It's in a class of medications known as SSRIs, or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. They increase the amount of serotonin available in the synapse um, that has been shown to improve um, depression symptoms so of course it's an antidepressant in the u.s it's sold under the na uh, name brand lexapro uh, available in 5 10 and 20 milligram tablets there is also an oral solution available not used very frequently so what is it used for uh, anxiety and depression are the primary uses um, that's what it was studied for off label meaning it wasn't studied for but over time we have determined that it also can help folks with these conditions uh, binge eating bulimia body dysmorphic disorder OCD panic disorder PTSD uh, certain menopausal symptoms as well as other conditions that your health care provider may determine so common dosage uh, pretty simple usually most adults it's 10 milligrams once a day and if that's not enough, it can be bumped up to the 20 milligrams per day. Higher doses, uh, sometimes used, but not very common. We do have to keep in mind, it takes four to six weeks for symptoms to improve with this medicine. So something that we have to give it some time. Maybe taken with or without food. Also, uh, maybe taken morning or night. Best to take it at the same time each day. So if you find taking it in the morning makes you drowsy, or if you take it in the evening, it keeps you uh, makes it hard to fall asleep at night you can switch that if any questions of course run it by your doctor and it's best to avoid alcohol with the SSRIs um, just can really cause some issues you could just be more impaired than you normally would with alcohol most common side effects headache uh, you know one in four can get a headache nausea 16% uh, insomnia, 7 to 14%, drowsiness, 4 to 13%. A lot of times these will improve the longer you're on the medication um, and could be dose dependent as well. If they're bothersome, be sure to speak to your pharmacist, your doctor, see if it should be continued or if maybe you need to try something else. Other side effects uh, can include constipation, excessive sweating, ejaculation disorder, dizziness, fatigue, impotence, rash, dry mouth um, sometimes some cardiac or heart rhythm issues can occur weight changes as a rule uh, escitalopram does not cause weight gain it, it's reported weight gains reported in less than one percent generally considered a weight neutral meaning um, it doesn't really cause weight gain or weight loss um, antidepressant muscle pain can occur abnormal dreams stomach upset uh, decrease in appetite and other side effects have been reported so withdrawal, it is best to taper off this medication, especially if you've been taking the medicine more than three weeks. Uh, the dose is generally decreased over a two to four week period. It's going to vary by the patient. Some people are fine tapering off. Some people need a longer taper. Um, you will want to taper, especially if you've had um, the difficulty going off antidepressants in the past warnings uh what a what do we need to watch for as with any antidepressant we need to watch that there's not an increase in suicidal thinking or behavior mania bipolar folks uh, could sometimes develop mania serotonin syndrome very rare but a very serious medical condition that's where you have an extreme change um, in thoughts and how your body feels you can have seizures severe muscle tremor uh, this is an immediate um, medical attention sort of situation but very rare discontinuation syndrome we kind of touched on most people would want to taper the dose on this it can increase the risk of seizures bleeding risk uh, has been shown with the SSRIs as well uh, heart problems we kind of touched on that a little sexual dysfunction we've talked about uh, drug interactions can occur it can 
rarely cause some issues with sodium, increase the risk of fractures, and uh, some eye problems can occur. All these are rare, but you just need to be aware of them. So if you notice some changes, you can contact your healthcare provider and see if something needs to be changed. Drug interactions. Um, we need to watch out for the risk of bleeding. And so we can see that with NSAIDs. NSAIDs are non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, things like uh, ibuprofen, Aleve, Motrin, Advil. Those are all over-the-counter NSAIDs, and they can sometimes cause bleeding. And medications like escitalopram have been have an increased risk of bleeding. So the two together can increase that risk. That doesn't mean they can't be used together. Uh, sometimes they might use one maybe that has a slightly lower risk, like meloxicam. Um, but you do have to be aware that using NSAIDs and escitalopram together increases the risk of bleeding. And, of course, other medications, antiplatelets, anticoagulants, that also have an increased risk of bleeding along with acetalopram can just increase that risk. Uh, triptans, they're uh, medications used for migraine headaches. Those can increase uh, risk of that serotonin syndrome we talked about. Lithium, the dose may need to be adjusted um, if you're on lithium and started on acetalopram. And then others can occur. Um, they're just not as frequent or popular medications as these. It is best to you know always go to the same pharmacy. That way your pharmacist can screen uh, your medication for interaction. Uh, thanks for watching. I would appreciate it if you'd like this video, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and ask any questions in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them for you. Thanks again for watching.